Last summer we built a massive cloud. This summer we're building a massive comet. Right now, there's a comet the size of Central Park racing towards the sun. 10 years ago, the European Space Agency launched a spacecraft called Rosetta, and it's been chasing this comet for 10 years, and it's just about to arrive there. We wanted to build this dynamic sculpture so that people could get a sense of what comets are. The real comet's about 12 miles long and nine miles wide, and we've made a steel version of that, nine feet by 12 feet, by about eight or nine feet tall. We coined this little term in the office, form through force. This form was going to be built through force. Comets are like big, giant mountains, rocks of ice. It's covered with sort of a craggy surface. And out of that surface comes these jets of water vapor. And what's happening there is the sun's heat is heating up the surface of this ice, but it's turning that water ice directly into vapor. It's sublimating. Something that's really interesting is that comets may have given us all of Earth's water. And so what we wanted to do is to talk about the anatomy of a comet, but also have that comet sitting in sort of a pool, a reflection pool of water that represented the fact that all of this water that we have all around us may be comet water. What comets really do is when uh, they come towards the sun, the sun's light uh, picks up and illuminates all of that atmosphere around it. And it's just extremely beautiful. And we wanted to try to characterize that, that beauty, that, that luminosity that comes from that center core. The way that we did that is put lights from the inside. And we hope to, to create sort of that mysterious light that makes the comet glow that's so characteristic of a comet. But we wanted to represent sort of that birth of the atmosphere with this dynamic sculpture that we're creating and allow people to walk and interact with it, sort of like you're walking in the atmosphere of a comet.